wasn't Daisy. I feel so weak. The day is the day. Crazy. We do it. So beautiful. People run marathons for many different reasons and to explain you my reason, we need to go back to the beginning. It all started at the end of 2019, when for the first time I worked out for 100 days straight. I finished so proud of myself because since I remember I struggle with body image. But right now, after this 100 days, I, I just love myself more. I'm so happy. Oh my god. Like, I feel in a really good place. After completing the challenge, I felt I can do everything. So I started to prepare for my first marathon. This is my fourth week of training to marathon. I feel resistant. And you know, I always struggled with procrastination and staying consistent and I felt like something is finally changing. But it was 2020 and marathon was cancelled and I lost all of my motivation to run. And I felt like I lost a chance. October 2022, I started to train again. It is 17th of October 2022 and I'm about to have my first run training for the month. I'm one kilometer in and my face is not the, just the fastest, but I'm handling it. I finished the second run. Oof. I'm feeling strong. It's dark and I'm like, I don't want to run, but I think it's the moment for me to be disciplined. Yeah, I felt I run faster than at the first time, so I feel like I improved already. I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. But there was also one thing. I had travel plans through four different countries. So the question was how I'm gonna run and travel at the same time and how I'm gonna pack to the carry-on backpack. But the thing is that they changed the policy. Before it was like you can either fit it under the seat or you can fit it up above, you know? And now it's just like only under the seat. I just finished six and a half kilometers and I have to say Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's just... <laughs> it wasn't easy. Like last seven was easy, but I think it's because tomorrow I'm gonna travel. I didn't have enough sleep lately. I didn't eat the cleanest. I ate a little sweet. <laughs> and I, I feel the effect on me, so... <sighs> but anyway, I did it. It was time to go. And by the way, I managed to pack to the Korean backpack. It was fine. I can't believe it's actually happening. I am in the airport. Oh, very sleepy. It's um, the third week of uh, preparing for the marathon and uh, it's Wednesday and I haven't run yet because I was traveling. And now I'm in Egypt. So it's time for my first international run. Today we're gonna run. As pretty as it looks, running in Egypt was tough. I needed to finish early because I'm too hungry and it's getting too hot. I'm doing my run in Cairo. I have some stomach pain. I just don't know. I, I run, then I stop, then I run again, then I stop. But this stomach thing is kind of bothering. I have energy crisis. But I gave my best to stay consistent. This is incredible. For the first half of the run, I felt like I'm not gonna do it, I'm not gonna do it. And now I'm halfway point and I have this boost of energy. Running like this, incredible. <laughs> wow, palm trees. Oh, I'm so glad that I'm running. I managed to have few runs, but unfortunately, my last days of travel were not ideal because I got sick and now I'm living in Egypt. I welcome you from Cordoba with the palm trees and with the 
oranges i run here i feel better i'm still recovering after sickness but it's so much better than the last time that i was running here i'm in spain and i just finished my 5k and i feel so weak i think i expected too much from myself oh my god it took so much effort to run 5k but i just did the intervals And then I run my way through Bordeaux, France and Budapest, Hungary, all the way home to the Polish winter. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is this is the circumstances that I'm running, but I don't know. Being uncomfortable, it just like makes me feel high and happy that I managed to. <laughs> running in such a weather conditions wow oh my god this is amazing I, i'm not really sure if i can explain this feeling but i think what i'm trying to say is that marathon training is actually showing me how to fall in love with running and this is like the most incredible thing i do it <laughs> i just ran my first half marathon on a training plan i freaking did it <laughs> i can do anything if i can do this I can do anything I put my mind to. This place is very important for my running training because here, uh, during the spring, five years ago, I was running next to those trees and I realized the, the beautiful weather around me. I was like, just admiring the spring coming to life. And I realized that running doesn't have to be about suffering. Uh, Hey. Hey. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's a very important place and marathon is so close. I decided to run a marathon not only because of my ambition to cross it from my bucket list, but also because of my friend Anita, who had found one of the most beautiful places to run a marathon in. Okay. And after five months of training and five countries, it was time to go to Italy, to Lake Garda. It's 6.33 for now, and we just ate our delicious breakfast <laughs> and our delicious like bread with plain tofu cheers to the best breakfast <laughs> ever <laughs> is it good though mm. yeah italian oh. mm. yeah. like yesterday we were so stressed out that we will not find a way from our accommodation to the ferry because it was like 50 minutes by feet um but then we asked the owner and the workers and the staff and they were like calling all the taxis for us and <laughs> and eventually the boss told us that he will just be, like take us and we are so grateful and now we have to change it's so freaking cold in the room but today is a big day oh my god i'm so excited Beautiful views and excitement made the first half easy. Crazy! It's so beautiful here! So beautiful! But then, in the third quarter, I started to feel sick. My stomach was hurting, I was feeling like I'm gonna throw up, and I started to lose all of my energy. I was watching Anita running in front of me, and with tears in my eyes, I asked her, please, give me pep talk. And she reminded me of everything. 
I believe in you, Suja. I know I have to take actions if I want to. I don't stop care it. if you stop, I care if you come back. Support of Anita gave me my strength back, and although walking breaks occurred more often, almost there, I felt like myself again. Having her by my side was priceless. And honestly, I don't know what I would do without her. And we made it. Thank you so much for joining me on that journey. I, it was truly really life changing and I'm freaking marathon runner now. Wow. I'm a runner, 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 runner. I'm a runner, 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 runner. I'm a runner. Runner, I'm a runner, runner, I'm a runner, runner, I'm a freaking runner. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs>